Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and today I'm playing Half-Life Blue Shift, so let's do this then. So this is actually yet another uh, game in the Half-Life series that I've never played before, so I'm going to play it then. Um, I actually pretty much do not know anything about uh, Half-Life Blue Shift as well. Just like when I played Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, I didn't know anything about it. And I pretty much don't know anything about this game as well, so you know what? I'm just going to dive right into the action and see what it's like. Um, let's just go on easy for now. And maybe if it's too easy, I'll put it on medium. And maybe if medium's too easy, I'll even put it on hard. And if hard is too easy, then I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. Probably kill myself, I don't know. Good anyway. And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This Look at him running. Is provided for the comfort and convenience of Black Mesa residents and visitors to the Black Mesa Research Facility. Okay. This is interesting already. Now basically, I do know this though. Um, Half-Life Blue Shift was actually released as an add-on for Half-Life in 2001. So I know that. So this is actually supposed to be an add-on for Half-Life 1. And it was released 11 years ago. Holy jeez, what is wrong with this thing? Gosh darn. Just move my laptop closer to me. Okay. What we got? How you doing? Okay. Alright. Very similar door. Okay. Okay then. Stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Okay then. Another loading screen, of course. Could have figured. Your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C. You will need to board a high security train at the Central Transit Hub. Okay, there, there you go. There, uh. Oh, Tony's Pizza. All right. I can go for some pizza right now. But it won't let me, so forget it. Can I even jump out of this? Oh darn, I think I can. Mm. No, I don't think I can, actually. Can I go now? No, it's just opening, okay. Or just going on a rail, okay. Oh damn, we go on to this rail. Look at that transition. And requires that you wear your security badge at all times. Okay. Are we coming to our stop yet? What the heck, it just randomly stops? What the heck? Alright. How you doing? Man. Hey Calhoun. Looks like we're in for a long day today. And by the way. Okay, what the heck? Subject B Calhoun. Yeah, by the way, you don't play as Gordon Freeman in this game. You actually play as Barney Calhoun. This is a medium security area of the Black Mesa facility. He does make an appearance in Half-Life 2, I know that for a fact. Uh, Barney Calhoun. And he basically helps Gordon Freeman, so. But you're not playing as Freeman in this game. Disaster response priority, preservation of facility. Second priority, welfare of research personnel. Alright. Well, this game is interesting so far. Low priority, personal safety. Well, of course. Wait, what? So basically, you shouldn't be worried about your own personal safety? What the heck? Have we made it? Can we get out now? Insecurity. Okay, let me see if... Uh, Okay, well, actually, it doesn't tell me the chapters, but I guess this is the first one. Insecurity. Either that or it's just technically the second one. Goodbye, train. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Okay. You get that door open right now. No? Still nothing? Here comes another train. 
What are you doing? Just vibrating. I think I got it. Okay. Oh. Alright then. How you doing? We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a I'm gonna turn this off actually. Mm-hmm. Okay then. This looks very uh, similar to Half-Life 1, or Half-Life Source. Well, basically, Half-Life Source is basically Half-Life 1, but on the Source engine. By the way, I actually wanted to say that, though. Um, right now, I'm sort of uh, taking a break from Half-Life Source, mainly because um, I actually got to a part in the game and where I actually could not figure out what to do, so I have no idea what to do, so I just decided to stop playing for a while. But I might start the series up again. But I guess as a filler for now, I'm just playing Blue Shift here. Because I've never played Blue Shift before in my entire life, so... I'm gonna see what it's like. How you doing? You say anything? I'm a little busy right now, Calhoun. Calhoun, you know you can't go on duty without your sidearm and uniform. Okay. Vending machine? Can't use it. Forget you. Microwave? Can't use that either. Garbage can? No? Oh, you can use these ones. Can you this? Can use that one? Can't get some snacks. What if I'm hungry? I don't think I can survive on liquids alone. Can't even pick it up. Get some fruit, fruit drink, fruit juice. You click all the buttons. No, not doing anything. I sit down. Anyway, uh, down here, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? Training saves lives. Yes, these maps are... Or... Me what? Are fine examples of natural... More... I can't read that, that's too blurred, for goodness sakes. I know it says training saves lives. The future and success, alright. Oh, well there you go. Okay then. Must be working at the FBI or something. Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. Your voice sounds kind of weird. Can you give me this piece of paper? No. Not to mention, all the computers look as though they have the blue screen of death. What is that all about? I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time to... Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy, and I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. Oh, my. You speak some pretty, uh, tough words there. Sorry, Calhoun, I'm on duty. Okay. It's a cool calendar, though. Calendar with, a uh, picture of the Earth on it. Yeah, everything's all blurry in this game. Like, every single texture in the game's blurry. I think it says December, though. I guess that makes sense, because, uh, tomorrow is actually the first day of December. At the time I'm recording this, anyway. The time of recording this is November 30th, 2012. For those of you watching this in the future... Anyway, uh, which way do we go? I guess armory? Don't even need a loading screen here. I guess this doesn't work. Oh, it does! Okay. Am I even going the right way, though? Oh my. Oh, cool, you can see the security cameras. Okay. Cool. What about this one? Okay, firing range, I guess. What the heck is that guy reading over there, though, to the left? Okay. Interesting. Alright. Can we go back?
back out. I got this way. Okay. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get my armor here. Thank you. Oh, we're here. How you doing? You reading a magazine? Here you go, Calhoun. Oh, there you go. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. Okay. Um, actually, hold on. Let me try this again. There we go. You're just quick safer now. Not in any danger yet. Let's go to the firing range to try this. Let me in, please. Oh, there. Okay, he's shooting. Get some ammo. There you go. Oh. Fine, let's just steal all the ammo there. What the heck is that guy doing? He's just... He's just carrying around a donut. What the heck is he doing? What the heck? It looks as though he's about to eat it, but he doesn't. What the heck is he even doing, for goodness sakes? Oh, here we go. Hit the target. Okay, well. That's just, that's all there is. Okay, well. I guess I don't really need this. I, I know how to fire. Let's see if we can... Hold on. Uh, no, that's where we came from. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I wonder... Okay, I guess go back then. Oh darn, that's how I can jump in here. I guess because the elevator was going up though, so... How you doing? Okay, where do we go next? Here, maybe? Yeah, bathroom. How you doing? Can I talk Shouldn't to him? you be on duty by now? Yeah. Does this work? Oh, it does. Oh, I can get into the lockers. Jones, Croc, Coy, Phillips, Murray. Oh, I can open them. Or can I? Where's mine? Oh, washing his hands? Okay. There's some first aid kit. Fire extinguisher. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Oh. The truth about aliens, government conspiracies. Who the heck are these guys? Especially this photo, what the heck is going on there? Is that guy dead? What the heck? Can I close this back? No. There's an American flag, even though I'm actually from Canada, but it doesn't matter. Out of order? Oh, there you go. Okay, take a dump first. Then I do it. Gotta use the toilet. Can we can we close this? Close it, please. Darn it! Well, I can't do this with the door open. Fine, forget it. Okay, I think I'm done. There's some towels. Well, this is an interesting place right now. It's like a shower. Yeah, I guess it is. It doesn't work, though. Anyway, I got my armor. Uh-oh, now what? What? Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you mm -hmm. go over there and see what you can do? Sector G. What could that be? Exactly, could that be? Could this be back here, though? I can barely jump. Well, I guess we just have to go back, then. 
Let me try going back first and see. Didn't have to shoot anybody with this first. Not really a lot of stuff going on right now, just going around trying to fix things apparently. That's problems. It's not. No, they're, they're down there. Oh, I could just jump down there. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that. Vertical labs. Have a good one, Calhoun. Oh yeah, there we go. We can go in. Let me in, please. Alright. And a loading screen. What we got going on? Oh my. Okay, what's going on? What I'm thinking? Fixing some stuff. Uh -huh. Don't you have oh, more important thing? Yes. This should help. No. That doesn't sound right. Let me help you. Okay. I hope you know okay. what you're doing. Of course. Theoretically. Theoretically. You smell something. Uh oh. Oh darn! Whoa. It exploded. <coughs> Is he all right? Yeah. Well, do you have any idea what to do next? I couldn't even venture a guess. Who is responsible for this mess? Not me. I'm just an innocent bystander. Some donuts and coffee right about now. Do some donuts and coffee. Okay, I guess we can go on. Please leave me alone. I have a very important. Okay then. Highly doubt that, but if reading you're newspaper. A tram to sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Okay, the Mesa Times apparently. Interesting newspaper. Maintenance access. There you go. No smoking area, high voltage. I can move that out of the way. Hold on. Oh darn, I can just move it out like that. Oh my. Flashlight. What have we got here? It is just pitch black. Jump scare? No? Forget you then. Get out of my way. Hey! Okay, up here. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's G-Man. What is he doing? He's just vibrating. Oh. That's why. Try this again. Alright, not a lot is happening, like, really. Nothing... I haven't even had to shoot anything yet. Kind of boring right now. Wait, am I coming back? No, loading. Alright, what is in here then? Sector G main access lift. How y'all doing? About time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Make this thing work so we can get on with this miserable day. Oh wow, for your information, I was actually trying to get here the entire time, but I couldn't find my way. Just wow, people. I'm just vibrating, so I can jump. Yeah, yeah, jumping around. Oh my god. I'm just singing. My 
phone's probably ringing. What the heck is going on? It's probably those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard. Dabbling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them. Okay. Now we're still going. Uh oh, what's going on? Earthquake? The heck? Oh my. Can I even talk to them? Oh darn. Holy gee is. Oh, what the heck's going on then? The entire elevator is malfunctioning. How are you doing? Oh darn, what is going on there? Oh darn, we actually got hit. What is going on? What is going on? Vortigaunts? Vortigaunts, what are they doing? Well, he's dead. Darn, they're... What is going on? Oh my. They're attacking the facility. Let me out of here, for goodness sakes. Oh darn! Whoa! Whoa! The guy just got run over, for goodness sakes. Okay, well, oh, power's out. Yep, the elevator, the el yeah, here we go. Here, oh my goodness gracious. Well, so much for this. And I'm dead. Alright, good to know. Duty calls, alright. Next chapter, I guess. Oh my. Oh my, he's eating him. going on? Where am I? He's gone. I got a crowbar. Darn. Oh my. They just got annihilated for goodness sakes. Anyway, I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to continue this maybe in the next part because I think this is getting a bit too long now. So on the next part we'll find out what happens in well this chapter then. So there's basically a entire chapter completed in uh, part one, so yeah. But I think I'm done for now, because this video is getting kind of long, so yeah. Well, anyway, this was part one of Half-Life Blue Shift. This is Dr. Robonic 64 Thank you for watching. And if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe subscribe, and also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos that I've recently uploaded to there, so yeah. And the link to my Twitter account is in the description of all of my videos, including this one. But that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. So, uh, not a lot of stuff happened in this part, but hopefully uh, the next part will be better, so yeah. But that's it for now. Later.